This is a prenatal yoga class focusing on optimal positioning for birth. It's just a short 10 minute sequence that allows us to connect to our body, our baby, and to find positions to help baby get into its optimal positioning for birth. All you're gonna need is a little space around you, a mat underneath you, two yoga blocks and a blanket. And when you're ready, let's meet here on the mat. Okay, so come and find a tall seat position. So I'm sitting on one yoga block. You're welcome to sit on your blanket or a cushion. And then if it feels okay, crossing the, the legs and we create a nice tall spine. To start with, we're just gonna settle into some breath work, settle into this space that we have right now before we just go through a gentle flow of some movements that are ideal to help us and baby get into that head down position. So when you're ready, you can bring your hands on your thighs or just in your lap, wherever you feel comfortable, sit nice and tall, close your eyes. Just take a moment to come to the sound of your breath. Just noticing where your breath begins. Is it high up in the chest? How short or long it is? And see if you can bring that inhale in from the very base of your pelvis. So you really breathe all your efforts into baby. Open your lungs wide, inflate your rib cage before you exhale and hug baby back towards you. Keep that flow of breath coming in and out. Softening your shoulders, your face. Allowing yourself just to trust in the moment, trust that you and baby are connected as one. You know what to do. One more conscious breath in. And out. And just bring your hands to baby and just give a little warming love, little rub, a hug. Allowing you both to connect together one partnership and then open your eyes and just release your hands we're going to come off of our blocks and onto our knees you may want to bring a blanket underneath your knees because it feels quite nice and comfortable here and then from there let's just step our right foot outside of our hands we're kind of on this diagonal it's like an open lunge position and then here we're going to start to just circle through the hips completely up to you if you want to bring in any support if the ground just feels a little too far away or it just feels more comfortable for you to get into this circular motion and again if it feels really nice may may not you might want to bring yourself all the way up and all we're doing is just opening creating space around the inner thighs into the hips good just a couple more gentle circles in your own pace your own time and then you're just going to release and come to the other side so straight with the left foot coming out towards the edge of your mat and here, circling the hips the opposite direction. So you're probably going towards your left on the second side. And just taking your time just to find your way into your physical body. Breathing in. Finding that slow breath out. Taking your time as fast or as slow as feels nice. Good, and then from there, just coming back towards your blanket, the knees down, about hip width apart or more. 
You can come off of the blocks, hands to the floor. We'll just take some of those circles through to the wrists, to the hips. And maybe we start to kind of make that angry cat feel through the backbone as we roll through the chest, let go. And as we round up, we're just circling through the body. And it's really kind of your own way of moving here. So some people like to take figure of eights. So through the hips, making those big circular motions. Some people like just to circle it into one direction before they switch. So really just finding what feels really lovely to kind of get everything shifting, moving around, getting baby to start to find its way to optimal position. Nice, and then from there, we'll come back to a gentle child's pose. So you can take your feet together, your knees wide. You can pad up as much as you like here. Bring the forearms down, bring the arms long. Let um, yourself make a little pillow for your head to rest on, whatever works for you. And if it just doesn't feel nice today to be low, you just feel a little bit dizzy or anything, you're absolutely welcome just to bring yourself up into a tall shin, um, shin seated position. Maybe just close the eyes so you can escape from anything that's um, around you. And just breathe into the back of the body, breathing out. Nice. From here, gently bring yourself up to that seated position on your shins. We're just gonna take a nice big open stretch through the sides. So right hand down, left arm reaching over, breathe in, breathing out and flowing to the other side. Left hand down, right arm over, breathing in and breathing out. Good. From there, gently release. From here, you may want to just pop the blanket out the way. Tabletop position, tuck the toes. And we're going to start to walk back towards the back of the mat. Start to walk the hands up, the legs rolling through the spine. As we just come to stand, roll the shoulders down your back. From there, we're going to take a nice big wide position. So toes in, heels out, hands around the waist. And you may want to bring your blocks in front of you if the ground just feels a little far away. Lift the chest, breathe in. And as you exhale, we're just going to tip forwards from the hips and drop the head, hands onto blocks, the floor. And then here we have this really great optimal position for baby to get into that head down position. And letting all the weight drop through the crown of the head, soften the shoulders. Just take a moment to be here. You can maybe take a little rock forwards and back through the feet, side to side. Gentle sways are welcome. Lovely. And then from there, you're going to release to turn to the top of your mat. So bring your blocks with you from here. And then from there, step back in and just fold the body over. From there, we're just gonna step back towards the ground, one knee at a time. Come towards our puppy pose. So again, really wonderful position to relax through now the pelvic floor. So take off any pressure through the pelvic floor. You start to melt your heart down through the center towards the mat. And you can see I've got my forearms on block, so if you're really tight in the shoulders, this might help. Or if you feel really comfortable without any props here, just bring your chin on the ground, look forwards, or you can rest your forehead down on a cushion or the ground. Notice how high my tailbone is as I just drip the heart space into the mat beneath me. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good. From there, we slowly bring the hands back and just walk yourself back towards a child's. Maybe you bring in your cushion, 
your props. Maybe wrap your arms behind your back if you have comfort there. Just find what's good for you. Drop the head, let go. Breathe into the backbone. Breathe down to baby. Slowly and gently, just lifting your chest up, bringing yourself up into a seated position on your shins. Just taking a moment to bring one hand to baby, one hand to heart. Just connecting your energy together, trusting in one another, trusting in your journey as you make this big moment together to create and to form this new life. And then from here, you can just gently release the hands. If you like, you can bring yourself onto your left side. Perhaps you'd like to bring a blanket between your thighs and take a rest now. Take your Shavasana, your relaxation, all the way down on your left-hand side. Taking a breath in and a sigh out. Just allowing yourself to absorb these quiet moments. Take as much time here as you like. If you do want to come on out, then you can bring yourself back up to a seated position. Perhaps coming back onto a cushion or your block. Just finding that little lift through your spine. Shut down your eyes. Bring both hands onto your stomach. Breathe wide open together. Two hearts beating. One love, one energy, one connection. Take your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. And gently sigh it out. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're feeling relaxed and calm. Until next time, namaste.